Hey Busters, welcome back to another Capsule Toy video. So today, we'll be opening up the brand new, I guess the Connie series, or the Crab. So yeah, uh, for those familiar, this is the same line that goes with the um, Dangomushi line. Or this is rather a spin-off of it, I guess, the, uh, what is it, the pill bugs. Uh, they also went with like turtles, uh, what was it, the uh, turtles, lizards, bees, uh, was it praying mantis and stuff? So this time, it's the crab. Uh, before they are actually already released the crab, but this is a different one. So this this time, this line is only crab. So yeah. So let's see if I can find that little line. Uh, so here it is. Uh, is it? Uh, let, yeah. Let's just cut it. But yeah. Let's see. I think usually they get this in about like two layers of plastic. I think. Not sure, but this one. So let's see. Yep. Yeah. I think this time it's just one layer, so not double layered. And yeah, uh, for those wondering, uh, or for those also who live in Japan, also I guess, um, this time in this set, uh, let's just go here. First, here is the little leaflet. So here this time, Kani, here's the design they decided to go with this time. Looks pretty nice. Real nice design. I'm guessing instead of the Mushi Shinbu, it's the Kani Shinbu, I think. Yeah, right there. So, number one. Ooh, so this time it tells you the parts. And I think, yeah. So this is the lineup of one, two, three, four. Actually, I'm not sure what the uh, the numbering is for this. I can't remember. I think it went one, two, three. Yeah, I think it goes one, two, three, four, if I remember correctly from uh, the machine. But the first one here is the Nokugiri... What is it? The Nokigiri Gazami no ka Beni. Oh, that's how to build it, but yeah. So, Nokigiri, I guess, is kind of like the, uh, what is it? The buzz saw, the saw, scissor crab. This one's like all black with uh, some nice red shading. I didn't manage to get that, so. But today we did get this one. It's the Sube Sube Manju Gani. Which is a funny name. Sube Sube is kind of like slippery. Manju is kind of like a Japanese. Maybe Asian dessert. It's kind of just like a red bean bun thing, so you'll kind of see what it's doing. That so it's a funny name. You got the Torafa Grappi, ah, Torafa Garappa, which is actually um this one. Uh, I did not roll this one. This one was from the Dangomushi number six series. I think it was six or five, maybe four. I can't remember, but yeah. So originally uh, came out already, so everyone knew this. Uh, it was kind of rare, and everyone was buying it. Actually, I rolled quite a few and sold it. Um, but yeah, pretty much uh, this one was from a previous set, and everyone knew they were going to reuse the molds, and this time they just crabs only molds. So. And the last one is the Megane Karappa. It is, as far as you can tell, the same mold as the this one, the Trafagrappa. It's, uh, what was it? I think it was called like the um, the Shy Face Crab or the Box Crab. Um, this one is exact same, except it just has slightly different uh, paint apps. Reason being Megane Karappa is, uh, it has, I think it has like two shadows near its eyes, giving it like kind of like glasses. So I'm not actually aiming for these guys. So uh, when I managed to get the first one, the Scissor Crab Claw, I'll definitely do a review of that. But uh, yeah, as I was mentioning, for those who actually, here you go, Buster. Uh, for those um, who also live in Japan, uh, if you don't know, uh, all the new ones, specifically the black one and this one, they all contain this, um, they use the same plastic as the, uh, what is it? The bees, the grass, uh, praying mantis, and the beetles. So they use the same container. Whereas the, what is it? The shy face crab, um, they use this, this, the white thing to make it round, so... Uh, if you're wondering how you can tell, so of course these don't. This is a throwaway piece. Uh, this one is also, I think, a throwaway piece. But for those who want it, it is used as a stand. It would have been nice if they gave us the stand part two just for fun. But for those who ever who need an extra stand, actually interesting. This was a bit more glossy compared to the previous one. So I wonder why it's different. And this time it's just in a bag. Oh, it's small, huh? Real small. I guess I'll do comparison later, so I guess that's why it's in this thing. Much smaller than expected. Because it is just a plastic bag. Looks like it's all ready to eat. Dang, Busters, it is small. Hmm, interesting. Really small. Oh, and his leg popped off. 
But as you can see, it's just on a ball joint, so not too hard to just boop, pop it back on. Although, you know, there you go. Oh, yeah, I do like it, though. So there we go. So as you can see, we got all eight legs here. They all on ball joints. Although a bit rough. Mm, not rough, not too tight, but mm, interesting. Let's see, we got... So the range of motion goes about this, yay. So these are kind of just on peg joints. So there you go. Same with here. So this one and this, hmm, is this one just kind of molded? Yeah, so it's just molded curve like that. So sorry, guys. Wasn't really looking into the camera when I was doing this. So, yeah. Open this up. Interesting. Hmm. Ooh, his face is pretty well detailed. The arms are interesting. Kind of goes from there, so I'm not sure how the real crabs' arms go from. But oh, I do like the pincers here. Whoop. Interesting. So kind of like the box crab, kind of do that. But from here, it's just—is this one piece? Rather, does it move? It's definitely on ball joints. A bit tight. Yeah, but definitely ball joints here. It is a bit tight. I don't want to break anything, so I'm not sure if it does it move. I don't see a reason why it shouldn't, but even if it's on ball joints, just seeing the clearance here. Hmm, interesting. Oh, there we go. I just had to rotate it, push it in a bit. There we go. So yeah, so I think it's similar to the turtle, where some of these um after being put in, it is a bit tight, but yes, so this ones do move. So it goes like in and up. And you can move it out a little bit for feeding. Nice detail there. Did the eyes move? Yeah, eyes move too. So there you go, got busters. Real small little guys. So let's just take a look. Um, from the back, we got some nice paint apps here. Um, it is all smooth, no rough. So uh, this stuff is just painted on. Nice detailing there. Same with on the claws. A nice smooth. I mean, this feels, it's like a smooth matte finish. Same here, it looks glossy, some nice detailing here with the black spots. As well as here, just the uh, claw part, the tips, it's painted black. Uh, yeah, legs are just the molded color of this kind of like brownish red. And on the underside, I can't tell what the, probably the base colors most likely hmm, probably gonna be this white I think because most of it and this is painted on so we got some nice dealing there you just got some sprue marks there that they painted over and I do like how uh, kind of gradients from this white to this so actually maybe the base was a uh, this brown plastic and they just sprayed it on honestly I can't really tell it's pretty good it's got some nice molded detail here, so like here in the mouth. I wonder if I can just move these out of the way to show you more of the detail. So yeah, you can. So like here, you can see it's got the molded mouth details. Looks real good. Yeah, uh, in terms of the articulation, I guess. Um, the eyes kind of ball joints. You get like up down here, low down here. It goes slightly. Does this go side to side? A little bit side to side, but... You have that. Uh, these things sticking out do not move. And as you can see, the mouth does open up to here, or if you want to like cover it up. Oop, this leg popped off again. Hmm. Over there. Um, the arms are here on a ball joint here, just single, as you can see. So you can twist it like this, doing some weird claw stuff, but goes around yay high. Here, it bends here. But it has a bit more articulation here. I'm not sure if it's twistable. Let's see. Mm, nope. Goes only so far. So maybe kind of see here. If I can get the lighting. Maybe you can see it kind of there. It's, I don't know how to describe it. I guess it's kind of like a T-shaped joint where you kind of like pop it in. But So it's similar to the box, uh, the shy face crab, box crab. So it goes like this much. Legs, arm, what you see. I mean, you can go get some up this leg. You can twist it as much as you want. Um, and legs 
go far as back as this much if you stretch them all straight out and as you saw you know they do bend inwards interestingly enough you know uh, some of these legs do bend a certain way so yeah so let's see if I can get him to support its own weight which should be able to not sure how crab poses crab but oh okay so he's kind of like that maybe you have his arms out like that yeah but uh definitely not much to say a uh, nice cool crab um you know oh i think i mentioned a uh, manju so here he is the manju is kind of like a round shape like this and it's got like this kind of like shape because it's kind of like the uh bread because manju is just the breaded sweet bread dessert so snack i guess but yeah interesting though i do quite like it but definitely um i would definitely say I think the black one is the more desirable one in the set. So just to show off some comparisons, uh, first of all, hold on. So, as always, here's a normal trading card size, Digimon card game, or I guess this is just Pokemon, Pokemon Magic the Gathering, just general generic uh, playing card, trump card, uh, poker size card. So he's about, you know, he's about very high if we were to put him up to it slightly smaller than the card i mean if you wanted to like have him up like this you can easily fit him within the side okay, so you know let's just have him boop, boop, close him up like so i think his claws close up and you can kind of like you know <laughs> like you would find him at the uh, fish market or the fresh seafood after all cooked up he would be smaller than a card you know um yeah if we were to say compare him let's just put this guy up on a pedestal <laughs> let's put him next to the original crab he is definitely way smaller i mean just when i took him out i could definitely tell right away you know if we were to say you know even like just the size of the legs you know interesting though so i'm guessing maybe like uh this guy was made smaller because you know bigger size so you can see in size and comparison like definitely bigger um width wise i think they're about the same but as you can kind of see uh definitely this one is bigger heftier too of course you know so if you were compared to the underside like legs are definitely you can kind of just see the difference in legs so you know let's just stretch what the longest leg here and um i mean this one it's curved in so you can't really say it's the longest but you know we we'll just stretch out both of them so you can kind of see the difference if we were to like get them sp just all face huggered up you know this guy's kind of you know a bit heavy but if you were to put them next to each other, def oh, it's always this leg that pops up. I wonder why. Maybe it's just me. Uh, yes, it's much. Let's stretch this out a bit, and kind of like so. So you know, I think it looks. This crab looks better with his mouth open like that. Get his claws up on up when he's all stretched out in his you know not boiled position he is as you can see still quite small i mean put them off to the side like that you can get a sense of just you know this guy gets a much better volume this guy is a very very small crab and his legs don't help much given how they're already like curved in so they definitely don't help too much in you know giving him some height definitely cool um so maybe so for some of you who maybe didn't manage to get this crab because it was a bit harder to get unless you bought the uh, full set maybe you guys got more of the turtles you know as they're all generally the same shape and size so here he is next to one of the turtles I just close his mouth so he doesn't look so ugly <laughs> But yeah um if i hold it you know 
be like this high. So the crab is about the same length as the shell, but not actually not. If you look at the bottom, much bigger. So I guess more like the top of the shell. If we just put it down there, maybe you can kind of see how much it sticks out of it from the bottom. Yeah, but overall, um, it's not bad. I do like it, you know, especially like the detail and quality, the sculpt of this thing looks real good, you know, with all the different lines, like the, it's got the crab, the uh, pill bugs, like honestly, my capsule toy collection, my gacha pawn section part of my display case is already just like full of insects and bugs. So, you know, uh, honestly, I'm, I'm loving these things with the, uh, all these different creatures. Even if they are all the same, like just crabs and stuff, they do still look really cool. Um, I guess uh, from what, this just quick preview, um, overall the paint quality is not bad. It's a bit bland, I guess, you know, just the design wise. Um, texture wise, like of the molding, it's definitely good molding, you know. Unfortunately, it is a bit basic, you know, the pinches here, the stuff, there's not too much going on for it. Um, it is 500 yen, like as the all the other ones of the uh, this I guess living in uh, living organism or living sp specimen spe uh, lineup. So uh, for 500 yen, it's a tad pricey, I guess, when you compare it with other stuff in the same line or of similar products. But uh, for five dollars, I feel like it is a definitely a cheap price to pay for a display piece of this kind. Yes, it's small, but honestly, like for like crabs, you're not going to have much any options. So definitely a great buy or roll in this case. Um, I would recommend it to, you know, any of you guys who are on the fence, you know, it's only $5. So you, it's not much, uh, but overall it is really cool. Uh, if I had any complaints, it would definitely be just the size. Um, maybe some of the coloring, I guess, but I'm not sure how the real one looks like, so it could be accurate color. I just find the coloring a bit bland, you know, maybe if they added a bit more. Although I do like the bottom part of here, but as it is, you know, it definitely looks more toy-like than realistic, but still really cool. I guess that's the only real issue, as well as the size. It is a bit small. I wish it was slightly bigger, but you know, maybe if they use put more of this plastic in here instead. But I could kind of see why, given how flat it is. I mean, uh, this one is more round, so it rolls a bit more. This one's straight flat, so I can see why it would get stuck in the machine, and they had to resort to using this one. But yeah, overall, definitely a great pickup and recommend it. As always, guys, uh, sorry for taking so long. But, you know, appreciate it if you decide to stick around to the end. And if you just skipped around, well, thanks for watching anyways, guys. Hope to see you again. Uh, definitely try to make another video if I manage to get the uh, other one, the saw crab version. So hopefully we'll manage to get that. I can show you guys how it looks like as soon as I can. Anyways, once again, thanks for watching. And if you have any uh, comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to get back to you on that. As always, this is Buster Coon here. Off to find those rock and roll sinners.